they're saying like we need to brace for an emergency landing just in case you know something happens to where we can't finish the trip and i'm like an emergency landing so at this point i'm terrified <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's Dreadhead Keezy, and I'm back again with another video just like I promised. So look, so today I'm going to be filming a video titled, I Survived a Plane Crash. You're going to want to hear this. This is a great story. It's awesome. It's very entertaining, and it's something that a lot of people don't get to say. Before I get into that, I do want to say that um, if you saw my last three videos, and you know that I've been off of the YouTube platform for about like seven, eight months now. I'm just now re-entering the YouTube world. I got to sharpen up on my skills again. Uh, most of you know that I do all of my editing, all of my sound, all of my thumbnails, all of my photos. I do everything myself. I don't have anyone that edits my stuff or helps me with anything. I am self-taught. I have started from the bottom and got to where I am now. So... My last three videos have not been up to par. I don't know if you guys have watched them all the way through, but I have multiple times and I've noticed that sometimes the audio isn't right and stuff like that. So please forgive me, you guys, please forgive me. I promise the more videos I upload, the more I'll get back into the swing of things. That's what I get for taking such a huge break from the platform, but it won't happen again. I've been focused on TikTok. Um, I'm on the road to 10,000 followers. I just hit 8,000 yesterday. Um, I'm almost at a million views on one of my videos and a hey, only to the top now from here. So um, basically, I'm going to jump right into this video because I know that you came here for the title that says I survived a plane crash. So I'm going to jump right into it. And here we go. So um, the plane crash. All right. So where do I start? So it was last year. Um, like in the beginning of the year, um, me and my dad, we went to Dallas to visit the AT&T Stadium, which is the home of the Dallas Cowboys, America's team. I know we're not doing too good right now. Get well, Dak Prescott, man. I can't believe what happened. It really tore my heart out of my chest. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. And visiting the AT&T Stadium and being able to be in that environment and seeing, you know, where they practice, where they play, where they go when they're injured, the locker room, the showers, all that stuff. Being able to see that stuff, it just, it really warmed my heart and it just made me feel closer to the team that I really love. So, um, yeah, so that's where me and my dad were going. We were headed to the AT&T Stadium and we actually made it there safely. We were flying on American Airlines. Like I said, this was in the beginning of last year and everything seemed to be going good. We got there. We went through our VIP tour through the um, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. And if you look back on my YouTube page, I did document that entire thing. And I may or may not insert some clips on this video of our little trip that we did. I don't know yet. But um, that's where we went. So we got there. Everything was good. We were safe. And we had a blast, a blast. Anybody that's a football fan, if you can get out to your home team's stadium, or if you like a team that isn't where you live, like I do, if you could get out to the stadium and just be in that environment, it's something so unreal. So yeah, so we enjoyed all of that. And then it was time for us to go home. As y'all know, I live in Florida. The AT&T Stadium is in Texas. So um, me and my dad flew American Airlines on the way there and American on the way back. Um, every time I fly, I usually don't fly American Airlines. I fly all different airlines, but it's never usually American. So this was my first time actually flying American Airlines, but I thought American was like one of the best airlines, you know, and there wasn't going to be any issues, but I was wrong. So um, we took off from the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport and we were heading to, I think our layover was supposed to be in Atlanta. Yeah, it was supposed to be in Atlanta. And then we would get back to Jacksonville once we got on the second plane. So um like probably 10 to 15 minutes after we boarded the plane um the pilot came on the loudspeaker and was saying that they were experiencing some technical issues with the plane and that we were going to be a little late taking off 
So um, at this point, me and my dad, we weren't sitting together because our tickets were not together. That's another thing I didn't like about American Airlines. Usually when you book together, your seats are together. Not with American, we were far apart. So once the pilot came on and said that stuff about how the plane was experiencing issues and stuff, I went to one of the flight attendants and I was like, can I move to the seat with my dad? Because he was in a seat where there was no other people. So I was like, I don't see a problem in me moving. So they let me move next to my dad, which was so good because I wouldn't want to experience this without being by my dad. So um, after that, the plane got started. We were getting ready to take off. Everything was good and stuff. And we, we had ordered food and stuff like that. And we're chilling. Plane takes off. Everything's fine. Um, after probably, I would say like 30 to 45 minutes, that's when things started to like get weird. So there was a weird smell that was coming from like the back of the plane. We were kind of like in the middle of the plane and there was like a burning smell that everyone could smell. And you know, there was no mask and stuff because at that time there was no COVID. So we were just chilling on the plane, smelling some burnt smell. So after I started smelling it, I'm like taking out my headphones and I'm looking around like, does anybody else smell that? And my dad was asleep, so I didn't wake him up. Then the flight attendant comes over the loudspeaker and says that people have been complaining about a burnt smell and that they're aware of the smell and that they're investigating what the smell is. So then I woke my dad up. I'm like, dad, did you hear that? And he's like, no. And I told him what they said and he was like, oh, that's weird. And he looked concerned, but he didn't look too concerned. So then I decided to open my window. I was like, okay, you know, I'm getting suspicious. I was feeling uneasy. So I opened my window. By the time I opened my window, like the plane literally started experiencing like extreme turbulence. I fly all the time. I have never experienced anything like this. Literally the plane was like going like this. And I could see it in the window. Like the, the clouds were going up and down, up and down, up and down. So then like, I, as I was looking out the window, I seen that we were like tilting like this and the wing was straight up. It didn't feel like we were like this though. It just looked like it. So um, I could hear like people talking, saying like, you know, is something wrong with the plane and stuff. So then probably maybe like another 10 to 15 minutes went by, but it seemed like way longer. Then we started hearing this loud noise. Like it was like like that underneath the plane and you could feel it. You could feel it vibrate in the plane. Then people started to get upset. Like people were asking like, what's going on with the plane? Like they were yelling out loud and that started to really concern me. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like we're really gonna die on this plane. So then the pilot himself came on the loudspeaker and was saying that everybody needs to calm down. He's working on the issue and that he has people in the cockpit that's addressing the problem. So I'm like, okay. So I looked at my dad and I'm like, the next thing that's going to happen is the oxygen mask are going to come out. Because I was so scared. And you know, in the movies, when it's getting bad, that's when the oxygen mask comes out and like, you start to really freak out. So we continued flying and the turbulence just started getting worse and worse. That noise was still happening. You could still smell stuff and things were bad. People were uneasy too. Like a lot of people were like moving around in their seats. Oh yeah, and they came on the speaker and said no one could get up. Like you couldn't go to the bathroom, couldn't get anything from your overhead bin. You had to straight just sit down. So when it started getting really, really bad, like where you're holding on to the seat because you're like scared, um, a voice came over the loudspeaker, but it wasn't the pilot or the flight attendant that was talking the first time. It was another voice that sounded shaky and concerned. And it was saying that basically we need to brace for an emergency landing. Um, we were still in Texas. Okay, so we're traveling almost an hour and we're still in Texas. That let me know like something was seriously wrong. Like we should have been out of Texas. We should have been almost halfway to Atlanta by this point. So they're saying like we need to brace for an emergency landing just in case, you know, something happens to where we can't finish the trip. And I'm like an emergency landing. So at this point, I'm terrified. I'm like, I'm talking my dad's head off. Like we're trying to stay calm and stuff. I'm trying to play games on my phone, but I just couldn't even do it. So uh, at this point, the pilot came on and was saying like, if you have cellular devices, make sure you turn them off, power them off. The plane needs to remain quiet. Everyone needs to be um, seated. And they told us to close our windows. I'm like, close the windows. And then he starts saying, 
in the event that the oxygen masks are deployed, make sure you put on your mask first. Then people started yelling, okay? People started yelling, saying like, what is going on? Oh my God, the plane's going down. So I'm freaking out. I start standing up and I'm looking around. My dad's like, sit down, sit down. It's not this serious. We need to remain calm. Don't panic, don't panic. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm panicking, okay? Like, I'm done. I'm panicking. They need to land this plane right now so I could get out. So the pilot, um, he kept keeping us updated and he was saying that we're going to have to emergency land in Texas and sit there and wait for another plane. He was telling us brace for impact um, in the event that the plane goes down hard. He was telling us how we're supposed to lean down like this and put your hands in your lap. And I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. So um, we ended up doing the emergency landing, but it wasn't like that. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like hard or anything like that. So we landed, um, something was wrong with the plane, something was wrong with the engine. And really we could have died. Like the engine could have stopped running and we could have just went straight down and we could have died. So we did the emergency landing. Um, we sat on the plane for like a good 45 minutes and then they brought another plane and we got on that plane. And I'm not gonna lie, that flight wasn't no better. That flight was the same thing. The turbulence was really bad. The plane was going up and down. It was going to the side. And it was just, it was scary. So, I mean, all in all, like I didn't, I didn't actually get into a crash, but I did survive an emergency situation, an emergency landing. And it was scary. It was one of the most scariest things I've ever experienced. And because of that, like my dad hasn't got on a plane since. And he said he doesn't want to get on a plane. I, I've been on like probably six or seven more planes since then. And it's never been like that. I do not fly with American anymore because of that. That that just, that killed it for me. I was done, but that was very scary. I did not record anything on that flight because that's how actually scary it was. And it was bad, y'all. It was bad. Um, but yeah, I survived, you know, an emergency landing on a plane that was about to crash. Like the engine had failed and everything. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to tell y'all that. I know like just a little quick story time, but it was crazy, y'all. It was crazy. Don't fly American Airlines. Don't fly American Airlines. They suck. Fly Delta or something else. I don't care, but not American. But yeah, that was the story of me surviving. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope y'all come back for more videos. Make sure you're following me on TikTok, dreadhead underscore keezy. Subscribe to me on YouTube, youtube.com slash dreadhead keezy. And make sure you follow and like on Facebook, Dreadhead Keezy. <laughs> y'all can find me on anything, Dreadhead Keezy. But um, y'all know what I say every time. So stay up, stay safe, and stay subscribed. Peace out until next time.